Hey guys, coming at you from behind the camera for my little intro here. So this week I'm going to be doing a fall decorate with me series here on my channel. I've never done this before. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Please bear with me. I hope that the more that I do stuff like this, the more comfortable I get with it. And hopefully over time, I also get better with my editing skills, which are still pretty basic. So really do bear with me. Um, however, I wanted to share just um, a few key areas that um, I really like decorating my house for, for the different seasons. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys this week. Um, today we're doing my entryway table. We're also going to be doing the buffet in my dining room and then the two mantles in my house that are in the there's one in the family room one in my fancy lady living room so i'm just going to take you guys through um the decorating of those areas the, i go a little overboard i'm fully aware of this so don't need to point it out um i know that this is not a practical design like we don't actually use this entry table to uh, for like a drop zone or anything like that. Um, it's literally just for decor and to provide some storage in our entryway. So I go a little bit crazy with the different um, with the different textures and elements and the amount of stuff that I use. You could certainly scale back a lot of this and still leave room to have a little tray to drop your keys or to place your purse or things like that. But for me, that drop zone in our house is actually out by the garage. So I get to use these areas for fun. So that's what we're doing this week. We are decorating these areas. Um, and next week on Monday, I will be giving you guys a full house tour. So I'll show you everything fully decorated. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, I do want to put out the disclaimer that I'm not a psycho. It takes me forever to come up with the final design. And so I did do a dry run of this just to make sure that I liked the way that it looked. I'm gonna reference uh, some pictures that I took on my phone just to make sure I put everything back the way that I had it. And um, yeah, so this is the stuff that I have. Um, I've got some chairs here and um, they're holding a few of the things and I've got some more stuff down here and some pumpkins and a really pretty corbel that my mom bought me over there. And let's go ahead and put all this stuff on the entry table and um, decorate for fall. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a little wreath that I made. This is actually a dollar store grapevine wreath that I had on hand. So I just took some ribbon that I had left over from another project and tied a bow at the top. It's not really even a bow, I just kind of gathered it. Um, this is just a little pumpkin pick from Hobby Lobby and then this these acorn picks are from Hobby Lobby as well, but these were from like Christmas. So this is one of those things that I was mentioning in my haul video where if I can use something for multiple seasons, I totally will. And acorns, I feel like work for fall and they work for Christmas as well. So I'm gonna hang this up on the mirror here and that will be just kind of like a fun, fun little accent up there. I do, de I do mostly like to decorate from the outside in and I like to start with the tallest elements first and then put the little things around. So these are some mercury glass um, candlesticks that I purchased at Fred Meyer of all places and they're really beautiful. It's like a pink and gold mercury glass and I got them on clearance to boot. So these were super inexpensive and yeah, Fred Meyer. <laughs> Who knew that Fred Meyer could um, have beautiful decor? But they really do. There's a lot of things that I find there that I absolutely love. So if you live in the Pacific Northwest, you should check out Fred Meyer. So I'm going to put these on the outside here. I just kind of place those off to the side. I do still need to put batteries in these. so. Have that on my to-do list. I do have this sign. I think I got this. Oh, it was, yeah. Look, I, I left the tag on. Classy, right? TJ Maxx. I think I got this in 2018. That sounds about right. It was 10 bucks. And it just says fall in love. It's printed on linen. And then the frame is kind of distressed. So 
I kind of thought it would fit with this whole, like my vision was for this was to use really nice neutral tones and then put in pops of like mauves and pinks and golds. So um, yeah, this fits in with that neutral kind of vibe. I'm gonna kind of put this off center here. And um, next, let's go ahead and place some of these pumpkins. There. And part of the reason that I'm putting this pumpkin here is to make sure that the um, the little sign here is like held up because I'm not using any tape or anything on the bottom to keep it in place. It's just literally leaning there. So there's that. I'm gonna bring this big corbel, and I'm again this corbel is also going to aid in making sure that this sign doesn't flop over or slide down or anything like that. So. My mom, by the way, got this at a flea market, I think up in Gig Harbor, and um, I absolutely love it. It's made out of, I think it's concrete. It's super, super heavy, and I love it. So let's grab some more pumpkins. Let's stick this one here and this one over here. Um, I've got some, let's see before I put out the books. I think I'm going to stick this over here. We just actually let me reference my picture. Just want to make sure that I put this back the way that I had it because I absolutely loved the way that it looked. Actually, you go here, sir. <laughs> All right. Um, got it. All right. Sorry. <laughs> It's all good. I'm going to, um, I have a Scentsy Warmer here. This is, oh, I think this is called, is this Opulence? I think this is called Opulence. And um, I'm going to elevate this a little bit by using these fake books that I got at Hobby Lobby. They're actually book boxes, so you can use these for storage. But they also, if you don't look too closely, they kind of look like antique books, so they're kind of fun. Um, so another thing I want to do is use one of my homeworks pedestals. This is the rose gold one and it just looked really pretty with the gold that is in the warmer here. So I'm going to layer these books, this pedestal and this warmer. Make sure that And I've moved that back, so. And just make sure that's on there nice and secure. Yes, that's even. And um, let's see here. Let's grab, I'm gonna grab, this is another Homeworks pedestal. I, I go crazy with these Homeworks pedestals. I have a ton of them. So right now I have Apple Crumble from Bath and Body Works on here, but what I'm going to do is layer this with another one of these book boxes. So this one is kind of neat because it looks like it has like a leather, a really nice leather finish to it. I'm going to stick that right here, put the pedestal on top so that's nice and secure. A um, few more of these books. I really do like the way that these look. And um, these colors are just really, really great neutrals. So they are perfect for layering. So I'm going to stick these just right here, kind of angle them a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I have these gorgeous candlesticks, which, by the way, you can totally get at Hobby Lobby right now. So they're really pretty. They're super heavy. They're metal and they're gorgeous. So let's. Stick this one right here. Put this one maybe. This one goes right here. And I do have one more. This one is a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna stick this one here. So what I'm trying to achieve here are just like differing heights so that the eye kind of travels a little bit. Um, yeah, 
So looking good so far. Like you could totally stop here and then put a really nice tray here where you could put like your keys and stuff like that. But like I said, this isn't a area that we use for that. So what I'm gonna do is start putting some more candles out because you guys know, obsessed. So I'm a huge fan of these cloches. This one I actually got at Ikea. I think they're only like $7.99, so they're super affordable and they look kind of cute over the candles. I have um, another Bath & Body Works candle holder here that I'm gonna stick right here and another cloche that I bought on clearance. This one came from Michael's. So I think I maybe paid five bucks for this one and it also came with like a galvanized tin stand for the bottom, but I don't need that. So just gonna put it over this candle. And now I've got just a bunch of like little accent things. So I'm just gonna start placing those. I have these cute little, these. I think they have these pumpkins again. I think I saw these at Hobby Lobby. They're just a pearlized mauve ceramic pumpkin. They're super cute. So I'm gonna stick one over here, maybe one over here. Pine cones, these sugar pine cones, um, I buy them at the market, but you can also get these at Hobby Lobby as well. They're actually in the Christmas section, so if you like these bigger pine cones, you can find them there. I love pine cones as an accent for fall decor because I can also reuse those for Christmas, so. Um, this is from the Robert Stanley collection. These acorns come in a few different colors. Again, they're just ceramic. Um, they come in a silver, this gold, and then also a rose gold, which is really pretty. You'll definitely see the rose gold um, when you watch the video for my dining room buffet. So I'm gonna stick this one over here. This super cute artichoke, gold artichoke, that came from Fred Meyer. I'm gonna stick that right here. So I'm just kind of trying to play with different textures. Um, this succulent, um, it's a fake succulent, but it's in this really pretty mauve color palette. So um, I'm just gonna stick this kind of behind um, the pedestal here. And you're not gonna really see it, but my goal is to kind of put little surprises in so that if people come and look, like every part of it is pretty, you know, that kind of situation. So I'm just gonna stick this over here in front of the books. Just kind of tweak things as I go. Um, I've got a bunch of pine cones that I'm just gonna sprinkle throughout. These you can pick up in nature. <laughs> in nature. Um, I mean, you can go you know, to any forest and get pine cones. I prefer to buy them from the market because they are treated, so these don't have bugs in them. If you do get pine cones out in the wild, sometimes it's good to put them in the oven on a really low temperature for a little bit just to kill any bugs that might be in them. I mean, I don't know, maybe you want bugs in your house. I don't, so I always buy the treated ones. I have this random leaf, <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick this maybe right here. Let's see, another one back here, and another one right there. Oh, that's this bad boy back up here. Beautiful. Here you go. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys over for a closer look. Oops, sorry. Here, let me, there we go. So this is the end result. So you can see if you get kind of in for a closer look, 
just having some cute stuff. Sorry, my camera just went haywire. Um, having some cute stuff back here just to take a peek at, I think is sweet. So, um, but yeah, lots of textures, lots of different heights. Um, again, not practical, but it's not supposed to be. Um, really love this. Um, definitely check out these grapevine wreaths the next time that you are at the Dollar Tree. They're super fun and you can do a lot with those and they're really easy to change out for the seasons. So yeah, and then just get some pretty ribbon and you can put those, you can put on your door, you can stick them on mirrors, wherever. You could put those on your kitchen cabinets, all sorts of stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I'm really pleased with how this area looks. By the way, when I light my candles, what I do is just, I left this little open area here. So when I want to burn this candle, I can move the cloche over to this side. And then if I want to burn this one, I'll move the cloche over to this side. And so that gives me a little bit of flexibility here. And there you go. This is my entryway table. So again, hopefully the more that I do these, the better I get. And maybe I'll figure out how to like put in some musing at some point in the future. But thanks for listening to me talk through it. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my dining room buffet. Have a great day, guys.